Let's understand Mahala Nobis distance intuitively. After going through this video, you will know what it is, where it is used, issue with Euclidean distance, an intuitive understanding of Mahala Nobis distance formula, and how does it get rid of some of the issues that is reported with the Euclidean distance. Let's first start with where it is used. In classification problem, usually you have two classes, non-responder, responder and when any new object comes any new instance comes you try to measure its distance from the center of responder as well as from the center of non-responder and wherever it appears closer you say that this new object has a high possibility of becoming this class that's what you try to do theoretically however when you try to measure distance you get into several kind of trouble see when you have to measure just one dimensional distance it's very easy however when you have to measure distance when there are multiple dimensions it's slightly tricky now let me explain you how so let's say if you have to measure distance between two objects and x1 x2 x3 xi xp these are the dimensions you measure the center's dimension on those par those dimension centers coordinate on those dimensions and the object co coordinates on those dimensions and then you apply this formula so you can say xi1 xi2 xip this will belong to the center of say responder and this is the new object and then you will calculate distance similarly you will do from the non responder distance this formula the on paper it looks good and in case of two or three dimensional space it is as good as a straight line dimension like you can say u1 and v1, u2 and v2, it is as good as a straight line distance. Even in case of third dimension, it will work like a straight line dimension, a straight line distance. And it has several properties like dij will always be positive. The distance from the same object is bound to be zero. ij will be equal to ji. So distance from here to here is same as here to here. And if you go to any intermediate distance and try to come here, this straight line distance will always be better only in one case it will be equal when k is lying in between i and j this formula on paper looks good but it gets gets into several issues let me explain you one by one so here is table a here is table b which is very much same as table a only thing is that income you are directly measured here where it was in thousands and in this case here lot size is you trying to measure directly in square feet rather than in thousands of square feet now all the three tables will give you three different distance you know why because if you think of here when you will try to measure centers dimension on these two that will be given in thousands so the distance will be like probably 45,000 minus 33,000 75,000 minus 45,000 so this will become a very huge number when you square it this will be a single digit you know if the let's say average is coming are like 20 20 minus 19.6 it's a very small number 20 minus 17.6 it's just two digit square it probably four whereas this will become thousands into thousand very big number whereas if you look at this this will be predominantly decided by the lot size because here this is will, will give differences in thousands the point that I'm trying to say that it is highly dependent on the scale and even though a b c is same these three will give you different distance so what is the way out the way out is to scale it means like x minus mean for each and every variable you take the mean you standardize all the variables so for each number you minus the mean and divide that by the standard deviation of the variable now it will work and all the three tables will give you the same distance but still there is one more issue the issue is that if the three variables are you know some variables are collinear means they are linked like in this case probably saving and income are collinear don't you think you're trying to measure the distance where there is one variable that is getting counted the impact is getting counted twice what is the way out and that way out is actually 
Mahalanov distance which gets rid of scaling impact as well as the collimarity impact of variables so let me explain you what is mahalanovich distance how does it look like it looks like the formula you know it does three things it transforms the variable into uncorrelated variables it makes their variance equal to 1 and then it tries to calculate simple euclidean distance so because it has made it uncorrelated it gets rid of the variance and covariance of the data it's the covariance of the variable sorry about the typo it's the covariance of the variable and because it has made the variances equal to 1 it has standardized it formula wise it looks like this where this covariance is actually like x1 and x2 if you're it, they, this side you have row wise you have x1 x2 x3 and here in the column it is same so here if you look at it will be the variance covariance of x1 and x1 is essentially the variance of x1 here it will be variance covariance of x1 and x2 which will be very much same as x2 and x1 and that's how it is the, all the diagonal elements are the variance and all the other elements are covariance this is called variance covariance matrix and you are taking inverse of that so what what does it let's understand x also so essentially if you look at x in case of like when it was unidimensional you are just giving by one value but when it is x is like you are talking of multiple variates multiple dimensions it is essentially a vector where x1 x2 x3 x and all these will become a vector and similarly if you look at mean will be a vector will look very similar to this the only thing that will be a static value for the whole say if you're calculating distance from responder this will be one value of m and from non responder it will be one value of m but it will look very similar to that it will be the mean of all these variable like that for that particular subset for responder and non responder now if you look at here you are taking distance from mean that's the first part second part you are dividing by covariance matrix and how does it help if you look at isn't it like multivariate standardization think of in case of standardization what do you do x minus mu so essentially you take distance from the mean and you divide by the standard deviation here if you look at you have x matrix obviously like you are not having one dimension you have multiple dimension and similarly you have mean matrix and then what are you dividing you are dividing by covariance matrix so essentially that's how and covariance matrix has variance anyway so in a way you are dividing by it you are trying to do a multivariate standardization and how it will impact think of if the covariance is too much right it means the variables are varying in the same dimension then even the bigger distance is not so big because you will divide by a bigger number when covariance is less you will not divide by a big number so essentially the distance ultimately will become bigger let me show you graphically so if you consider this case here if you look at x and y are appearing varying very much in the they, they appear to have good covariance so what will happen this c will become bigger and because you are taking c inverse you are dividing by c so if you let's say if this is the center and you are trying to measure distance of this object from the center if this is the general distance the moment you divide by covariance matrix because the covariance is huge here you are dividing by a big number it will become a smaller value right you divide by a big number and that's why it became a smaller number what will happen if the covariance is less think of this way if the covariance is less now if you think of here the covariance is higher you can see that there is a clear cut pattern which is not the case here so obviously c will become a smaller if c will become smaller what will happen obviously when you are dividing by a smaller number it won't change so much so this distance probably will shrink by this much only so if you look at what Mahalanobis distance which is this formula is trying to do is trying to measure distance from the center and trying to center of the 
and because it's a x matrix and it is a mean matrix it is a multivariate distance and because you are dividing with it by covariance matrix you are trying to standardize it so that's how it takes care of the impact of scale as well as the correlation of variable you have divided correlation covariance of the variable correlation of the variable and that's why this distance becomes a smaller distance because it's reasonable whereas this distance become huge because these are not so correlated 